You said it here first, America. Yeah. Set it here first. I, I got to say, uh, the first thing I'm saying is. Set it here first. Watch the show, that's all I got. Set it here first. Let's go. Turn on studio lights. Okay, so let's go. Um, it's your boy J Star back again. We said it here first. Um, got the standings up. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? Turn on TVs. Okay, so I don't know what's going on right now. Alexa wants to give me a hard time today, I guess. But anyways, let me get to my topic. I want to talk to y'all today about this little guy right here. You know, in the back, it says LeBron James, or it says James, of course. But that's what I want to talk about, man. It's, it's been a lot going on. You know, it's, it, it just goes to show that I don't know what they're going to do without this guy in the playoffs, like, serious, because it's, it's crazy, man. Like, it's really crazy. Um... <sighs> They talk about him for the most like craziest. Let me take this hood off real quick. Get out of here. <laughs> um, they just talk to him about like the most craziest things, man. Like what, like Clyde Dressler getting on him about sitting on the bench all the way at the end, like not being a great leader and showing that you're involved and stuff like that. It's just dumb, man. It's like really, really dumb. It's like how many times have we seen you know Curry and them not looking involved on a timeout? Um, you know what I mean? When they're losing, when they're losing, you just see Curry with the little, with the freaking towel and stuff like this and stuff over their heads and stuff like all of them. And Curry could call a timeout. I don't see them getting up to make sure they know to play it. They, they down, they don't, they don't care no more. Like it's, it's crazy how criticized he is for, you know, and I just don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't even think even with social media and stuff like that, I don't think Jordan would have been criticized like this serious, like even with it. But, um, you know, Kobe got out right on time, I feel like. Like, you know, it was getting there, and he got out. You know, it wasn't no memes made about Kobe really like that. Like, it is now, like, with every player that messes up or makes a mistake, you know. But it's it's crazy how, oh, my God, I just get tired of it, man. Like, I really get tired of it because I don't see no other player in the league um, getting that, getting that type of, you know, like, I feel like it's disrespect, like, serious, like, it's just crazy, like, man, like, he's done so much, and like they said, like, I heard Stephen A. today talking about how, like, it's one, you know, only one thing he has on his, um, you know, like, his whole career is the decision, man, like, for real, it's the decision, that's it, that's all they have on him, and it's like, but they, they gotta talk about this, man, that's why I can't imagine the playoffs without this guy, man, like, what are they going to talk about this? Is it finally? Are we? Okay. I'll, I'll say it here first. Maybe finally, you know, we'll see criticism on somebody else since LeBron is not there. Like, for real. Since LeBron is finally not going to be in the playoffs. Maybe from here on out, if somehow KD misses some game-winning shots or something like that or refuses to pass the ball to uh, Curry when he's hot for the game-winning shot because it does seem like that too. Like, you know, um... It's like Kevin Durant doesn't want Curry to win the MVP. Like, he has to win the MVP every final. So, it's funny, though, like, you know, because they really thought Curry was about to be the face of the NBA. And then KD came and stole all the shine. Like, he's never won the MVP of the finals. And it's due to KD. Like, he's going to always try to make sure he wins it. And so, I don't see him being, you know, like, Curry is cool with being the guy to the side. Like, you know, I'll let everybody else shine. But KD is not. Like, so... But maybe finally, since LeBron, let's get back on topic, since LeBron is not in the playoffs, maybe finally we'll see Harden, when Harden doesn't do something, you know, they're all on Harden. When KD is not a part of the huddle, you know, they're all on that. Like, they got to do something because, like, who's going to be interested in really in it? I mean, I know it's other fans of these teams and stuff like that, but who's really interested in watching the playoffs without LeBron, man? Like, at least, i tell you the one thing, y'all all can, like, y'all all can agree with me on this one, like, I'll tell you one thing. With LeBron in the finals, he's the only person that's beat the Warriors other than the Clippers. And that was, you know, the Clippers. I mean, it was like, maybe the Clippers might do it again. Uh, like, 
I'm here to say it here first. It happens. Like, you heard it here first. Clippers could do it. Um, they're the only other team, really, though. People forget about that. But they're the only other team that's looking like they might make the playoffs. That has beat the Warriors before without KD, though. And the same with LeBron. It was the same thing, though. Without KD. They both haven't beat them with KD on the squad. But that was the last two teams we've seen. You know, is LeBron on Cleveland and just LeBron, period, anywhere, he probably has a chance. And that's what I'm trying to say is that if LeBron is not in the playoffs, who really are we having hope for to beat the Warriors? Like, serious. I know, you know, I said Houston in my last video and stuff like that, but still, like, real talk, we haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? At least we felt like LeBron got up on them with 2-1 in the first time he matched up with them. The next time, they kind of got, was it one? No, the next time was one of the 3-1 comeback. Yeah. So, and then after that, they got smashed, and they got smashed, basically. But still, like, there was always hope. You always felt like, well, with the greatest player on the court, there's a chance, you know? But my thing is, I don't really believe in Houston that much. Like, we haven't seen Harden show up in every game. Like, you know, he has them cold nights, and he just, like, Disappears like what it's kind of the same thing what we saw if y'all was watching the Warriors versus Houston the other night They came out with no energy and I'm like y'all at home y'all can sweep them Have make them have no confidence in beating y'all and instead y'all came out with no energy and lost like and it looked like Harden the Harden that we see that chokes and stuff like that like in the playoffs like that's what I felt like like he went what like crazy percentage from three point it was horrible like he didn't make his he wasn't making his threes that night and that's the one i mean it's the same with the warriors when they don't make three they usually kind of give up but they kind of still be on a run because so many when you have that many all-stars you you kind of be like one of us gotta catch fire eventually you know it makes it a lot easier than with Harden as him by himself or chris paul can kind of keep it up but they got a first thing they gotta always come out with that energy and so like at the end of the day i feel like it's it's a lot easier for a team like the Clippers, you know, who, I mean, there's nobody from that team, you know, that beat them before, but still, like, they could still have that confidence. Like, I feel like it would be a team that we don't expect. Real talk. Like, I don't feel like, you know, like Denver, they're kind of a team that you wouldn't expect to beat the Warriors. And it's all, it's going to be the team that don't have the pressure. That's what I'm going to tell you straight up. I said it here first. The only team we'll have hope to beat the Warriors It'll be a team that doesn't have any pressure to beat the Warriors. Like, serious. Like, you got... So, I'm going to tell you, like, the Clippers have no pressure. Nobody would even be like, oh, the Clippers going to beat them. So, like, they could come in and get up 2-1, 2-0. Who knows? Like, serious. Because they have no pressure to win. Like, nobody believes in them to win. And that's the type of team I could see winning. Like, serious. Like, and I know one thing. If they even give the Warriors... They was to face the Warriors and gave them a hard time... I guarantee you two superstars will come to the Clippers. Like, I guarantee you two superstars will come to the Clippers. I feel that also with the LeBron, like this LeBron segment, like I said at the start, it's like, um, it's going to, like, he's going to get help. It's going to start with a Conley or a, a John Wall type of player, something like that, that's going to start the domino effect in an AD or somebody like that, they'll get, you know, and it'll, it'll fall into, you know, place like it's supposed to. But my thing is the Clippers will be right there, like, as their biggest threat. I feel like the Lakers' biggest threat after this offseason, it will be the Clippers. And I feel like it's because they're going to get in the playoffs. And they're going to, like, nobody, I wouldn't want to play the Clippers serious. Like, Lou Williams is ball. They have the best firepower bench. So no matter how great your starting unit is, at the end of the day, when you take them out, who's scoring? Like, who is scoring? Like, if you only got KD still in and, you know, and then the rest of the Warriors are sitting out, they can outscore just KD. Like, serious, they really can. They can outscore Steph and probably Clay even being in the game still with the rest of the bench players. Like, for real, they really can. Lou Williams is no joke. Harrell is no joke. They just got, oh, my God, all the players they got from Memphis was ridiculous. Temple, um, they have um, Jermichael Green. Uh, man, am I missing? I think Wilson Chandler, I don't know if they got... No, I think they believe they got him from Philly. But they got him from Philly. It's, it's ridiculous, man. Like, it's going to be a team, like I said, though, that nobody expects. That's going to be the team that beats them. Like, if it is a team that beats them. So, like I said, Philly is another team on the East. Like, if it matches up perfect, that would be a great finals to me, at least. You know, like, if Philly can get it together. Like, we have to see them grow. And they're going to have to sweep somebody. And, sh like, I feel like... Like, really, they're going to sweep probably, like, two rounds or something for me to really feel like. Or sweep or come 4-1 in one of the rounds to show that they're just dominating. Like, like there's no, it's no chance. 
And then I might feel that they could be the team to beat the Warriors. But like I said, it would be a team like that. They don't have no pressure. Nobody will feel like, oh, my gosh, like they're going to win. They're destined to win. But I guarantee you, I don't, I don't I'll tell you straight up, I guarantee you, say it here first here, the Warriors are not three people. What? What? Say it here first, like for real. I know in my last video I probably said some stuff like, you know, right now it looks like they're going to win and everything. But I, I just don't see it happening. Like I really don't see it happening. We have yet to see a three-peat team since the Lakers. And before that, it was what? Freaking, um, who was it? Chicago? Like Chicago and then the Lakers again. And before that was Boston, man. Like, and I feel like it's only going to be those franchises at 3 P. And that's the exact reason why I feel like, speaking of this man right here, LeBron, when he finally wins, it'll be a 3 P. But unless, I'm going to tell you this though, the, the only thing, and I said that here first, that he would 3 P once he starts winning. You know, once he wins one championship, he's going to 3 P. But I will say to like go against that, you know, because unless the Clippers somehow get some star players and still keep this squad they got right now, like, because this deep, man, it's so deep. And if they can get two star players, they're winning. Like, they're going to win. I'm, I'm going to tell you all right now. I know that sounds crazy. The Clippers have never won. But the Clippers, they know they can't get a new stadium. They know they can't do a lot of things, like, for ticket sales-wise and stuff like that, like, the bomber was pe pe um, preaching about it on, I think, was it, was it um, Undisputed or something like that? It wasn't Undisputed. I think it was first take he was on, and he was talking about it, and that, you know, he wants to move. He wants to get out of the Staples Center, but in order, you have to you have to win, man. In L.A., you have to win. Everybody knows that. You got to win, and I'm telling you straight up, though, like, I know one thing. He's the richest owner in the league. And he has the money and the means and the way to make it happen with Jerry Buss. That's what I'm saying. So as long as they got Jerry Buss, you better watch out. That's all I got to say. Clippers is no, like, nothing to mess with. Like, serious. I really believe the Clippers could, like, upset some people in the playoffs. And they could give the Warriors a hard time if they was to match up with them in, like, the second round or something. I would rather, I would like to see them get them early. Real talk. If the Clippers got the Warriors early. I know the league wouldn't let that happen. I don't think they would. But it would be nice to see an upset like that. Like, a big-time upset like that with the Clippers beating them and then... Maybe Clippers play Houston or something like that. I don't know, man. But it's your boy, J-Star. I had a lot to talk about. I don't need to get all this stuff off my chest, man. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm out, though. You know, catch me next time. Your boy, J-Star. Set it up first. You already know. We out. Turn studio lights off. Peace. Studio lights. Why ain't you listening? I'm telling y'all, I'm having a hard time all day today. You already know what's up. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Set it here first, America. Set it. Set it. Set it here first. I, I got to say, uh, the first thing I'm saying is. Set it here first. Watch it. Watch the show. That's all I got. Set it here first. What's up, what's up world? It's your boy J-Star. Make sure you like this video here, comment below, and subscribe. And oh yeah, one more thing. Click the little bell so that way you're notified by every video that I post. It's your boy J-Star, and I'm out. Peace.